Hey everyone, I'm Melissa Rotano, back again with some more After Effects advice. Today, I want to do a video on a fun effect called Shatter. Now, if you've never used the effect before, it can be confusing in the beginning, but it can be an effect you can have lots of possibilities and lots of fun working with. For this video, I will be shattering text, but you can apply it to anything you want to import into your composition. When you first place a shatter effect onto your layer, you get this brick wall, and when you scroll on the timeline, you see a portion of the wall shatter. That's because the view setting in the effects control is set to wireframe. To see your object, simply change it to render. But I would suggest to keep it on the wireframe setting to adjust two other settings before changing it back to render. So with the wireframe view up, open the drop down menu under shape. The first setting you see is pattern, which will be the shape the pieces break into when the object shatters. As you can see, you have many options to play around with. My personal favorite is glass. After the pattern is set, go to repetitions next. This will determine how many pieces it will break into. Now, once you have those two settings adjusted to your liking, go back to view and change it to render, and then we'll continue working on the effect. As you can see, there are many settings to play around with, but I will just start you off with two other key settings. One of those two is gravity, which you can find under the physics drop-down menu. This will affect how much gravity is applied and affect the direction of the shattered pieces. If you have it set to zero, the pieces will explode outward in all directions. But if you have it set higher, after it shatters, the pieces will begin to fall downwards. The second of the two is back up under shape called origin. This setting will determine the place the force shattering the object will start from. Pretty straightforward, but origin and gravity can have a huge impact on your effect. Now, if you want the shattered pieces to form the object, all you need to do is right click on your layer, go to time, then time reverse layer. As simple as that. Now if you start adding cameras, you can create a pretty cool looking effect. If you have any other questions or anything you'd like me to address, please leave them in the comments below. If you like what you saw, please like the video down below. And if you found it helpful, please subscribe so you can get my weekly After Effects advice. Thanks for watching and let's bring your projects to life with After Effects.